Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for x and y using the intersection of two lines. Now, when we have the intersection of two lines, a couple things happen. Um, first of all, we now create vertical angles, because vertical angles are angles that are on opposite ends of the intersection of two lines, and they don't have any adjacent ang they don't have any adjacent sides, but they share a common vertex. We also create supplementary angles. So let me just kind of show you again. Let's kind of deal with this. So here's you know one, one line, and then we intersect it with another line. So by doing that, we create what we call vertical angles. Vertical angles. Now it's really important we create vertical angles because they don't share adjacent sides, but they have a common vertex. Why are vertical angles important? Because we know that vertical angles are equal in measurement. We also, what we do is create, um, we also create what we call supplementary angles. Remember, here, a straight line is 180 degrees, right? So if I was to break that angle up you know, into two different angles, I know that the sum of these two angles add up to 180. Well, basically, you have two straight lines here. And either way you look at it, you basically have just broken up your straight lines, right? So I mean, you, every one of these straight lines has now been broken up by your intersecting uh, line. So we're going to use the fact of supplementary angles, that means two angles add up to 180, and vertical angles, meaning two angles are congruent, to be able to solve for x and y. All right, so let's look at the first example. And we're going to kind of build ourselves up. So we look at the first, ang first example. We see that we have intersecting angles, right? And by intersecting angles, we can see that these two expressions are on opposite sides of the intersection. Uh, both these angles are on opposite sides. So therefore, I can reason that these are what we call vertical angles again. And remember, vertical angles are going to be equal in measurement. So therefore, to solve for x, all I simply need to do is write an expression. So I can say 120 degrees is equal to 2x minus 10. Then, and that's you know, obviously in degrees. So then I'll add 10, add 10, and I get 130 degrees is equal to 2x. Now, I divide by 2 and divide by 2. And therefore, I can say 65 degrees is equal to x. And I can just you know, go ahead and double check my answer. You know, 65 times 65 is going to be 130. Minus 10 would be 120. And you can see that that checks out. In the next example, again, I have intersecting angles. But again, going back to my, th these two are vertical angles, and these two are vertical angles. So you can see that these two angles lie across the same line. Do you see that, how that's a straight line? And these, these two angles make up that straight line. So therefore, they are supplementary, meaning they add up to 180. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a different expression in this case. I'm going to have 2x. I'm going to put these in parentheses just so you can see. 2x plus 4x plus 108 degrees oops, is equal to 180 degrees. OK, so now, instead of the angles equaling each other in measure, now the sum of them is equal to 180 degrees. So now I can just combine my algebraic terms, which would be 6x plus 108 degrees equals 180 degrees. Now I just solve for x by using my inverse operations. So I subtract 108 degrees on both sides. 6x is going to equal 72 degrees. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. x is going to equal, well, 6 goes into 60 10 times. 66 would be 11. And 72 would be 12. So x is going to equal 12 degrees. And then again, you could check your work um, you know, to make sure yeah, that they plug x back in to make sure they both add up to 180. But to save some time, I think I did a, I'm just going to kind of go through, um, go through work throughout the problems. All right, so on this next example, so the first one we did vertical, then we did supplementary. Now we have three of the angle slots that have been taken care of. And to even make it more, dis more confusing, we have x's and y's. So that's very important because we know that these two angles are vertical. From my first example, I know those two angles are vertical. So I could say 2y is equal to 7x. However, that doesn't really help me out as far as finding the value of x or y because I have two unknowns. As far as in the second equation, I know that these two add up to 180. So I could also say 2y plus 9x plus 20 equals 180. However, again, I have two unknowns and one equation. That's really not helping me out solve. Now, you could do a systems of equations with this, but let's not even get to there. Um, but what we want to do is, when you have a problem like this where your x's and y's, what you want to do is find, determine should I solve for x or should I solve for y. Since I have two expressions for x's, that's what I'm going to want to solve for first. Now, all I need to do is determine how are these x's related. 
are they on the same line or on they are 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 they on opposite sides of the intersection you could see that they're on the same side of a line therefore they are supplementary so instead of setting them equal to each other i'm going to say 9x plus 20 um, is equal uh, sorry plus 7x is equal to 180 degrees i know that these are supplementary angles so therefore 9x plus 7x is going to be 16x uh, plus 20 equals 180 degrees. I'll subtract 20, subtract 20. 16x equals 160 degrees. Divide by 16, divide by 16. x is equal to 10 degrees. OK, so now I know what x is, right? But again, that really doesn't help me out as much. Um, however, if I plug in, I could plug in 10 degrees up here. And if I know that one, I know these two are supplementary. Or I could plug it in here, because I know those two are um, Vertical. So let's plug in here because that's probably the easiest. 7 times 10 degrees is equal to 70 degrees. Now I know that these two are equal to each other. So I can write an expression 2y is equal to 70 degrees. Divide by 2, divide by 2, y equals 35 degrees. So I know I'm kind of getting a little crazy here. So therefore, you can see now I have solved for x and for y in this expression. So you just want to work on one at a time. Um, here is another example. You can see I have x's and, oops, crap. Which one was x, which one was y? Um, OK, x, y, OK. So here again, I have an example where I have x's and y's. But you can see that I have, here's just x's, here's x and y's, and here's just x's. So again, to avoid confusing with x and y's, let's just focus on one variable or to solve for. And it seems like x is going to be the best variable to solve for. So I want to choose the two expressions that don't have anything to do with y at this point. And you can see these two angles are two angles that have nothing to do with y. But they are vertical angles, so I can send an expression of them saying that they are equal to one another. So therefore, I can, to solve for x here, I can say 3x plus 8 is equal to 5x minus 20. Now I can definitely solve for x here. So I'll subtract a 3x, subtract 3x. Uh, let's see, 8 equals 2x minus 20. Uh, add 20, add 20. 28 equals 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 14. Um, so now that I know that x is equal to 14, I can plug 14 in for there to go ahead and um, to get this expression. So when I plug that in, 5 times 14 plus 4y. <sighs> that is going to equal um, 5 times 10 is 50, 4 is 20, so that's going to be 70 plus 4y. OK, but that still didn't really help me out solving for y. I still need to find the value of y. So we kind of have a little bit of an issue here. And what we can do, um, why did I need to double check that? Um, y, 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 I think 4xy. Oh, I need to see which ones that is. Oh, crap. OK. Um, so anyways, I know that I could also plug x into this one or this x, right? So we know that these two angles are supplementary, meaning these two angles add up to 180, and these two angles add up to 180. So if I plug in x, though, into one of these equations, I can eliminate the x variable. Let's go ahead and plug it in for this one. It seems like it would be the easiest. So if I plugged, actually, let's plug in, yeah, let's plug it into here. So if I plugged in 3x plus 8 is, um, sorry plus 770 plus 4y is equal to 180, right? But I know x is equal to 14 degrees. So I'm going to plug 14 in right there, plus 8. So that's going to be plus 8. So that's going to be plus 78. Plus 4y equals 180 degrees. Now you can see I only have one variable. Let me just double check one last problem here. Sorry about that. I just got to look at this one problem, make sure that I didn't choose the wrong one. Um, because it seems like 2y, 3y, that one's correct. And then, of course, this one's 2y, and that's 3y plus 30. So that's x and x. OK, sorry about that. Um, OK, so that was supposed to be a y. I miswrote that. OK, so in here, I have 3 times 14. 14, that's going to be 28. That's going to be 42. 42 plus 78. I don't want to do my, my brain is already hurting. 48 plus 72, oh, geez. 48 plus 72. 
120. So I have 120 plus 4y equals 180, minus 120, minus 120, 4y is equal to 60. Divide by 4, divide by 4, y is equal to, um, let's going to be, that's 10, 15, right? 60 divided by 4 is 15. So y equals 15. So I have x and I have y. Whew. OK, so let's try to do these next two. I'll try to work these two kind of quickly, because they look more difficult. But in reality, they're not really that bad. Basically, what you can see here is we have intersecting lines. Now, the main important thing, what I like to do is determine, are they on, you know, how are my angles related? So we have x equations, we have x angles, and we have y angles, right? Basically, we have angles that have x as a variable and angles that have y as a variable. So for instance, I want, even though these are vertical angles, they're equal to each other, since one is y, one's x, I don't want to use vertical angle here. Same thing with these two. So I notice that my y's here are on the same side. That means they are supplementary. So therefore, I can go ahead and solve for y. And I can do the same thing over here. These two angles are supplementary. So I can set an equation for those to solve for x. So I could say 2y plus 3y plus 30 equals 180. And I could say 4x minus 100 plus x plus 5 equals 180. So basically, I'm just saying both those angles are going to be supplementary, so I'm going to solve them independently of each other. I don't have to do this twice like I had to do in those two examples. Both of them um, add up to 180, so I can solve that way. So I can say 5y um, minus 30 on both sides. 5y is equal to 150. Divide by 5, divide by 5. y equals 30. And then over here, let's see, I'm going to have add 100. No. Let's see, that's going to be 5x minus 95 equals 180. Then I have 5x, um, add 95 on both sides. There I have, I have 5x equals 275. Divide by 5, divide by 5. I don't know, my brain hurts. This is my last video of the day, so. Uh, is going to be 55. So x equals 55. All right, and last but not least, you can see again, these two angles are on the same side, so those are supplementary. And those two angles are on the same side, so those are supplementary. So we're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to want to write down two equations. So we could say 2y plus 5y. I'm sorry. 2y plus 50 plus 5y minus 17 equals 180. And 7x minus 248 um, plus x plus 44 equals 180. So let's go and combine this work here. 2y plus 5y is going to be 7y. 50 minus 17 is going to be 33 equals 180. Minus 33 minus 33. 7y is equal to 147. Divide by 7, divide by 7. Let's do 147 divided by 7 equals 21. I should have known that 7 times 2 is 14. Uh, as I told you guys, this is my last one. So anyways, let's get through this. So this is going to be 8x. Um, and then minus plus 44, so that's going to be minus 204 equals 180. So plus 204 plus 204, 8x equals 384. 384 divided by 8 equals x equals 48. And again, ladies and gentlemen, for all of these, you could plug them back in. You know, plug and make sure that these two angles are equivalent to each other. Plug those two in, make sure those are equivalent to each other. Plug in x and y, make sure they add up to 180, you know, and so on and so forth. So if you're taking like a test and so forth, make sure you, you know, check your answer, make sure that you have everything correct. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you solve for x and y when you have intersecting lines. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.